Thanks for logging on with us here at 41NBC.com. I'm Melissa Lee. A woman is arrested after she's accused of whipping a customer's child with a belt. It happened Thursday at a Dollar General store in Wrightsville. Police arrested 39-year-old Amelia Bell after she took off her belt and spanked an 8-year-old boy several times. She said the child threw a cookie and a battery at her. Megan police need your help to find a man they say stole checks and used someone's identity to make fraudulent purchases. The suspect in the photo is charged with theft by taking identity fraud and forgery. Megan police say he's used the checks since November 12th of last year. If you recognize this man or have any information on the incident, call Crime Stoppers at 1-877-68-CRIME. The new sheriff in Dodge County promises the jail there will be up and running this spring. Construction on the new law enforcement center was completed in June 2011, but the facility never opened. Now, for the past two years, the new building has been costing taxpayers almost $6,000 a month in utility bills. The sheriff is currently working on maintenance, training, and hiring. He plans to move his staff over to the new center as early as April. Residents in Lawrence County will soon see the value of a penny as plans to improve the roadways get underway. The county started collecting a one cent penny sales tax on January 1st to go toward transportation improvements. First on the list is to widen and resurface Spring Haven Road and replace the Oconee River Bridge. Now these two projects should start by the end of the year and be completed by 2015. Four airlines want the chance to fly passengers from Middle Georgia Regional Airport to Atlanta and possibly other cities in the southeast. The general manager of the airport says proposals came in from Seaport Airlines, Silver Airways, Sky King Airlines and Sovereign Air. He said it's been so difficult to secure a passenger airline at the airport because of the economy, but he's confident it's finally beginning to pick up. And there's an opportunity for you to offer feedback on the new Make and Bib Animal Welfare Center. A public session is set for this Thursday the 7th at 6 p.m. in downtown Macon. Tevis Architects will hold the meeting and all speakers will be limited to five minutes. The meeting will be held in the commissioner's boardroom on the fourth floor of the Bibb County Courthouse. And there's a new top dog at the University of Georgia. Jerry Moorhead, who is the current Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs and Provost at UGA, will soon take over as the 22nd President of the school. The Board of Regents made the announcement Monday. Moorhead graduated from UGA and says this move is a dream come true for someone who spent more than half his life on the campus. Moorhead takes the seat on July 1st. And be sure to join us tonight for the news at 6 and 11. Have a great Tuesday.